What's up, man? How you doing? Killer, I'm doing good, man. Reparations is getting closer and closer. <laughs> I'll be sure to <laughs> give you your percentage. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that money. That's all yours, man. I was on the next boat. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. Getting closer and closer. Closer huh, man? and closer. Okay. <laughs> The big no, payback. You know, you, this has been the last year has really kind of been the big payback for you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of, uh, last week, you went destiny. When, yeah. You done destiny. You know, what, you know what happened yesterday, right? Yeah, man. That's what I'm trying to say. What, it's going what, crazy. What happened? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you start. What did you see that happen? Oh, yesterday was the anniversary of Biggie Small's album, 27 years yeah. later. That's what I seen yesterday. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that was real. It's amazing that, that that all of this would transpire on that on that day. What's crazy is, is yesterday was Biggie Small's 27th anniversary of Life After Death. And it was also the Diplomat Immunity album, 21st anniversary. Mm. Shit, it's shit it's going on. It's crazy. It's going on, man. Yeah, man. I was just saying this. Was, I think oh, yesterday man. was kind of that's eerie, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It was the same yeah, that going was on. crazy. That's kind of crazy, man. I had no idea that you know the internet lets you know because I don't be knowing these dates for my albums or other people's albums, but they will remind you, man. Yeah. That's all you see. In a lot. <laughs> well, that's what I, I see. Seen, that's what I always see. I seen helicopters all kind, kind uh, of right. stuff. Okay. It's a lot of things. Yeah. Right, Did shit. you party with Diddy a lot? Oh, uh, no, not really. I would go to the party and, and leave early. Why wouldn't you stay? Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I go to the party and leave early. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know what goes on after part after hours, but he wasn't trying to find out. I wasn't trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know my place. You, you feel? Yeah, I know my place. I just had a conversation with somebody that day. I said I'm really like I'm more like with a with a W. Like I'm on. But define that though. Like I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Big J TV, man. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, sub, man. And um, this is the hip hop, Jizzlane and Epstein, man. Young Miami and uh, Puff Daddy, no Diddy, are the hip hop Weinstein, not just the Weinstein, it's the Epstein and Jizzlane Maxwell. What this says. At least what the court documents say from TMZ is that Young Miami was a paid sex worker for Diddy. You know what I mean? Including 50 Cent's baby mama, Daphne something. Right? So there's a reason 50's been going so hard at 50. You know what I mean? Not, not my bad. 50 is going so hard at Diddy. No Diddy. It's very clear. It's because... This dude has messed around not only with his baby mom, but probably other women that 50 used to deal with. Because that industry, as big as hip hop is, it's also very small, man. If you look at the Forbes list for the billionaires in hip hop, it's usually the same five, six guys. It's usually Jay Z, Diddy, 50 Cent is up there, sometimes Master P, Dr. Dre. It's the same rotation of five to six guys. Why? Because it's all about the gatekeepers. You know what I mean? When you look at Puff Daddy, he's always been a gatekeeper. But when you look at the whole entertainment industry, Hollywood music industry, it's full of this culture of, you know what I mean? And, and me, I call myself the voice of the culture. It's full of this culture of sex, drugs, murder, and murder, dog. Sex, drugs, murder, violence, all type of wickedness, man. That's why a lot of people are saying, oh, Jay-Z's next, Jay-Z's next. Because let me tell you something, man. Jay-Z has done some suspect things with minors, dog. He's done some suspect things with minors. So what's happening here? Like I said in my previous videos, right? 
is a D Diddy is a deviant. Diddy is a bisexual. Okay, and he probably leans more on the homosexual side if we keep it in a bean. <laughs> but I've said in my previous video that Diddy at the at the end of the day is part of this culture and this system. I could go very deep on a metaphysical conspiracy level, but that ain't for YouTube. I'm probably gonna do a Patreon uh, you know, podcast about it very, very soon where I'll break it down and go deeper. I'm gonna let y'all know and put it in the link. So y'all check out my Patreon. It's all obviously in the description. Like the video if you're out here. Diddy is just a part of this matrix. Part of this industry, the hip hop industry, and how dirty and grimy it's always been. If you look back at even the beginning of hip hop, it's been some grimy, dirty, disgusting MFs in it, man. Look at African Bambada. African Bambada was one of the first big famous hip hop artists. You know what I mean? And he was molesting children. Right? That's what he was doing in the 80s. You know what I mean? You look at what happened throughout the 90s, man. Suge Knight. Suge Knight allegedly, you know, knocked off Easy E. <laughs> There's theories that he gave him the, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> You look at how grimy and dirty the music industry is, and I'm not just saying hip hop, it's a ton in rock music. Rock music had a lot of pedophiles. Still does, actually, if you really think about it, right? Look at the 80s, the bands in the 80s, You're talking about Kiss, Aerosmith, Rolling Stones. They were dealing with minors, man. It's disgusting. Damn near praising Satan in their music videos. It, it, you know, it is what it is. This is part of unfortunately that culture dog when you reach certain levels of power you believe you're untouchable and this was happening with diddy diddy is an individual who thought he was on top of the world literally you know what i mean and he, he was probably getting topped off by a, a lot of that world that hip-hop world pause no diddy you see an individual like mace mace is saying hey this is some kind of reparations or chickens coming home to roost, right? Because Mace, he had to deal with that. You know, like, Biggie had to deal with that. Craig Mack had to deal with that. Shine went to jail on off a New York, you know, shooting case, you know what I mean, that almost everybody says he didn't do, right? Now they're talking about pink cocaine. Now they're talking about... You know what I mean? Paid escorts. They're talking about freak offs. They're talking about all type of ish, man. That's part of, unfortunately, that's part of the industry, man. See, Diddy was always a deviant. You know what I mean? And for me, I pro I'm going to say something controversial, but I don't care. I'm going to say it anyways. I think a lot of people who are so called victims in this situation were actually volunteers. I said it. A lot of these quote unquote victims were volunteers, dog. What do I mean by that? I put that clip at the beginning of the video. Uh, if I didn't, I might or whatever. I might even just put it here where young Miami says that she's a whore. A W. She's a whore. This woman knows who she is. And she participated willingly for the free offs for the nasty ish. I'm going to say something even more controversial. I believe Cassie was mostly a volunteer. You don't stay with somebody for 10 years, 10 plus years, and not have a certain degree of enjoyment in it. But I think she went from a volunteer to a victim. What does that mean? That means that, you know, there were probably some boundaries that Diddy's freaky ass was trying to do, and they passed her boundaries. Because an individual who's a deviant like this, it's about control. It's not really about, you know what I mean, the sexual act. It's about the control. It's about the power. And when you're an individual who's been powerful since the 90s, who might have gotten Tupac's, you know, snop box rocks, like Hassan Campbell says, where you have done foul things most of your career, you want power. That's what turns you on, dog. 
You know what I mean? And I'm telling you right now, if Diddy had done KFC right, if Diddy had not sued Diagon, you know what I mean? The the alcohol company last year, he would have been straight right now. You know what I mean? And if, if he was if he wasn't so evil and cruel towards his artists, man. Towards people who are on bad boy records. If he didn't treat them so bad, if he didn't abuse people. Now is there a chance that he's innocent? Absolutely. But I believe this was such a coordinated attack. I believe that there's maybe seven to close to 10 people who went to the feds and decided to cooperate and testify against him. And I'm going to make a prediction. I'm predicting by 2025, he'll be sentenced to 10 plus years in prison, dog. 10 plus years, unless he cooperates or he unalives himself. Yes, he might just rock his own snot box. <laughs> Shouts out to Hassan Campbell. He might just blow his ish up, man. That's definitely in play here because this is a 50-year-old man who's lived in wealth and opulence most of his life. For him to go to jail in the <laughs> with the worst type of people, and on top of this, because he has sex crimes, them people ain't going to treat him right out there. The feds are going to try to bleed him dry, meaning take all his money as an assets, man. I believe unless Diddy cooperates and gets to snitch into the whole industry, because there's people worse than Diddy, absolutely. I'm talking about Clive Owens. You know what I mean? Clive Davis, my bad. If he doesn't get to talking, they're going to destroy this man. And for me, when I see a man getting destroyed, regardless who he is, I'm not saying I have sympathy. I don't have sympathy. I just take notes in my head and I think. And I think like, damn, what should I not do? <laughs> this is an example of what not to do. But yes, when all the feds came, they came through. And I'm telling you, there was a lot of volunteers in them Diddy parties, them Diddy freak offs. But there was also a few victims. And if and if there's one victim, homie has to pay for it. So let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Longer video than normal. Big JTV, man. Like, comment, sub. I guess I'm going to follow the story. Football content coming up soon, man. I'm out.